Quinnipiac and Rand. That's his third trip to that game, and, and he does a heck of a job. And, and um, you, you tip your cap to, to Quinnipiac. And it, for us, that is, we had it. We had it. That one's going to sting. That's a crusher. OK, questions for the players right here. Yeah, Leo Haggerty, Amped Up Sports here in Tampa. Gentlemen, we know this is the last place you want to be right now. Can you just express your emotion right now, going from the thrill of victory to the agony of defeat? Aaron? Yeah, I mean, it's, like you said, the last place you want to be. Um, proud of our group. And I mean, we, we played well tonight and all year, and it's tough to come up short. Rep. Yeah, I just think through this game, it really showed how connected we were and just feelings of love for each other and connection. So I'm just really thankful to be a part of this group and just a level of God, you know, any outcome, all glory to God in it. And I'm just thankful for this team and this group to we're all supporting each other and lots of love. Okay, further questions for the players right here? Guys, Quinnipiac limited your shots on goal in third period to two. What did they do specifically during that period that um, was so hard to play offensively? Rep. Could you repeat the question, please? Sorry. In the third period, what did Quinnipiac do specifically defensively that limited your shots on goal? Um, I mean, yeah, obviously they're an older, stronger group. Not necessarily stronger. I think our group is insanely strong, but um, obviously they're shut down and they're a very systemized team. Um, you know, we, we stuck to our game plan, but it was, it was just a tough game. You know, it's, it's hard to comment on this right now. I'm sorry. Okay. Further questions for the players in front here? Chris Eckes, go for Puck Live. Uh, you know, only one team can win the last game of the year. Win or lose, this is the last game that some of your guys are going to play on your team. Can you guys talk about the group you had this year and sort of, um, Rhett, you talked a little bit about how connected you were, how together you were. Just talk a bit about, about the guys. Aaron? Yeah, I mean, we really we really did have a special group. Um, obviously with the, with the talent we had, but it was much more than that. Just a lot of really nice guys. Um, and it's, that's what makes it so tough. Like. Guys moving on. Um, yeah, we just we really had a good, nice group of guys. Rip. You know, through this experience, I think it's only going to make our group stronger. You know, of course, we would have loved to come out with the win, but I think an ex something like that it allows us to drive forward. And for the guys moving on, I think it's going to allow them to have more motivation to to become the great player that they're meant to be. Jess. Chess Myers from the Rink Live. Aaron, it's been said that frustration is a wasted emotion, but when there wasn't the ability to make some of the plays you've made in the past, how do you think your team did kind of controlling its emotion and what did Quinnipiac do to kind of disrupt, I guess? Yeah, I mean, Quinnipiac, obviously, they were, they were coming out um, hot. Second and third period, they were making a push, and, um, you know, we, we did the best we could to keep it under control, um, but you know, they're, they're a good team and they played well too. Okay, Randy. Randy Johnson, Minneapolis Star Tribune. Aaron, what was said uh, between uh, the third period and overtime in the locker room? What, what was the message? Um, I mean, just just keep going. Like we, you know, we, were, we were confident with where we were at and you know, we just wanted to keep playing how we are playing and just didn't turn out. OK, anything else for the players? OK, guys, we'll let you go. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We'll continue on uh, for, with Coach Mosco. OK, right here. Leo Haggerty, Amped Up Sports. Coach, it appeared, and I could be totally wrong, that in the third period, you were just dumping and chasing to get it behind them and hanging a forward back so they wouldn't get an odd man rush. Was that the case? No, not, not, not by design, 
um, we did change. We changed our neutral zone in the second period, to, and it, it worked. Like we, we stopped their zone entry. Um, you know, they were making a push. Um, um, yeah, they're, they're, you know, they're, I tip your tat, hat to Quinnipiac. They're very difficult, but we were in the right spot. Turn the puck over for one. Second one never should have went in. You know, that was an unfortunate situation right there. So we had a chance. I mean, I'm crushed. We, we just have a wonderful group. I mean, the love in that room for that group. Uh, I'm just crushed for them and for all of us. Our fans were fantastic. Um, we were in a good spot. Okay, for further questions in the back. Um, Bob, you, you talked about how you close this... yourself, sorry. Sorry, Dylan Lox from Gopher Hole. Um, you, you talked about how close this team was, but for you, you've obviously coached a lot of teams and players before. Like, what would you say about this team and where it ranks? <laughs> well, I, 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 don't, I don't really rank teams. Uh, you know, I kind of got into it yesterday. When you're in this profession, you get so close to... You know your players, and you know the program I left. I had tremendous love in that for that program and all the players that came through. When you get older, they all played on the same team. I, I can't dif differentiate what year they were. They're all on the same team for me, and and this group was special for this year. We we had no hiccups all year, like not one. We just went through the season. With great leadership. Uh, you know, you, you always have a little adversity. I don't think we had any. Um, that doesn't happen very often. Um, okay, anything further for Coach Motzko? Thanks. Good. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it.